Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian from Titan Consulting. In this video, I'll be sharing with you tips on how you can get into cybersecurity without experience. A lot of people have been asking me, hey Emmanuel, I don't have an IT background. I don't have a degree in cybersecurity. So how can I get into cybersecurity? That is why I'm making this video to share with you some of those tips that you need to know in order to get into cybersecurity without experience. But before we start talking about those tips, please I will encourage you to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share these videos, and turn on your notification button so that you can get more you know interesting content from Titan Consulting. Thank you. Now, let's get started on the tips. Tip number one, you don't need a degree in cybersecurity before you can start your cybersecurity career. No, you don't need a degree in cybersecurity. Any degree that you have in any major, in any subject, is equally good to start your cybersecurity career. You don't need to start all over again trying to get a bachelor's or a master's degree in cybersecurity or information technology before you can venture into cybersecurity career. No. Even if you have your bachelor's, you have your associate, you have your master's or PhD in any field, it's good enough for you to start your cybersecurity career. Tip number two is that you need to determine which path in cybersecurity do you want to focus on? Do you want to specialize on? There are two major paths in cybersecurity. Path number one is called the cybersecurity engineering. The cybersecurity engineering deals with the stuff like vulnerability scanning, malware analysis, penetration testing, incident response, um, intrusion detection. Uh, investigation, forensic analysis, this is what the cybersecurity engineering deals with. The things, they are more of the technical part of cybersecurity. So if you are the folks that like, you know, to do investigation, you like playing with softwares, testing softwares, doing analysis, doing investigation, now that part will be good for you. The second part in cybersecurity is called governance, risk, and compliance. Now, governance, risk, and compliance is called GRC. What does it mean? The governance part is the part that deals with the, the update or development of cybersecurity policies, cybersecurity standard, cybersecurity uh, procedures. That is what the governance does, the governance folks, that's what they do. Now, the risk part of GRC, they deal or they assess and conduct risk assessment, they conduct accreditation, cybersecurity accreditation on new technologies, on existing technologies, on softwares, on uh, changes to technologies or operations. They need to come up with the risk that will be faced by the organization. The compliance aspect of the GLC deals with ensuring that the engineering part of cybersecurity are in compliance with the policies, standards, and procedure that has been developed by that organization. So those are the two major parts in cybersecurity. You need to decide which of those parts do you want to get into. Tip number three, you will need a training in cybersecurity. You need a reputable organization such as Titan Consulting to train you in whichever path you have chosen to go in cybersecurity. Now, this training is going to hold your hands, it's going to put you through the hands on, it's going to teach you the materials, it's going to teach you the documentations, the, the softwares the intrusion detections, the technical part of cybersecurity, or the compliance part of cybersecurity, the GLC. This training will be the one to equip you. Usually, this training are not long, 
are not expensive. It's something that you can afford within the space of three to six months. You're done with this training. So you need this kind of training to get into cybersecurity. Tip number four, you will need a cybersecurity certification. Now, with this certification, you have places, you have what is called a boot camp. Now, Titan Consulting can also prepare you for this certification. There are a lot of cybersecurity certifications out there. Example, we have the intrusion, uh, we have the uh, certified ethical hacking, and then the, the security plus. These are examples of cybersecurity certifications that goes in line with the cybersecurity engineering path. And then we have other cybersecurity certifications such as Certified Authorization Professional, CAP, CISSP, CISA, CISIMS. These are examples of cybersecurity certifications that goes with the GRC part of cybersecurity. So you will need a certification in cybersecurity. Now, tip number five, develop your resume. Once you have taken the training, you have your certification, develop your resume. Prepare a resume, put in your best into that resume, showcase the skill set you have learned in those training into your resume. In that resume, you must have minimum three years experience. Put three years experience in there. Your resume should be catching. Your resume is the one that will sell you. Your resume is what will tell the recruiters or hiring managers out there, hey, I'm available, I have the skill set. So you need to develop a catching resume. Now, Titan Consulting can equally help you to put together a resume after we have trained you, we have prepared you for the certification. We can equally help you put together a winning resume. Tip number six, start interviewing. Yeah, go out there and start interviewing. Go and show hiring managers, recruiters that you have the skill set, you can do the job. Tell them, speak confidently, speak boldly. I must warn, however, some of those interviews might not go on well as planned. But don't be discouraged. There is usually light at the end of the tunnel. The more of the interviews you do, the better you become. And before you know it, the offer is coming. You're already in your job, in the cybersecurity career. Tip number seven, which is the last tip I want to sh share with you in this video, is keep learning and keep adding more certifications. The fact that you have gotten the cybersecurity job does not stop you from learning. Keep learning, keep getting more certifications, keep improving yourself. You want to go deep, you want to progress, you want to advance in this cybersecurity career, you need to keep learning, you need to keep improving yourself. How do you do that? Attend conferences, take trainings, additional training, write additional certifications. Now, those additional certifications and training will be dependent on the role you are doing, the job you are offered, what the organization's policies are, what your employers demand of you in terms of additional training or certification, or it could also be in terms of your own career goal as a cybersecurity analyst. So these are the tips you need to hold in your hands for you to get into cybersecurity without experience. I hope this video has been very helpful for you in determining and helping you to decide that you can get into cybersecurity without experience. If this video has been helpful or has been helping to you, please share the video like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification button. Thank you.